going to tell us a little bit about it. Going to tell us a little bit about the emotion of your senior day, how it helped you get off the depth chart. Uh, it was great. I I felt like uh all our teammates felt off the energy of the crowd and just the the greatness of this day for seniors and um everybody bought into it and bought a lot of energy from the beginning. Were you surprised that Ryder made such a strong effort the, in the first half, second, before the half? No, nah, they're a good team, you know, and it showed us that last time we played them um when they was home and this today they did the same thing, you know, real aggressive team. And they're gonna be a good team years to come and this year it's gonna be tough. Go talk about how important was kind of finished by what was your last team. Um, you know, I just play my game, just usual stuff. You know, just a lot of more, a lot of emotion because it's my last time here in front of all the fans and with my teammates, and I love these guys to death. And um, it's just an emotional time for any player. I feel like being here for four years, and um, I'm just, I'm just happy we got a W. What was kind of going through your head in that, uh, that opening ceremony? Like, how was the emotional there? How was the emotional? Uh, all my teammates kept asking me if I was going to cry or not, so I was like, I don't know, maybe I don't know, a day, whatever. But you know, it was just like tears of joy. And um, just see my teammates and um, English, AJ bring out my bring out my jersey to me. Just a lot of love from everybody and my teammates. I really love these guys. Like, the you guys all hit you there when you were out there. Yeah. Great, yeah. you had a big alley. You jumped right off the bat. Uh, that's kind of a good screen. Yeah, it was a good screen and a great pass by these two right here. But you know, it was just it was fun. You know, it, was, it brought a lot of electric to the crowd, and I just fed off the energy. How important was it that strong effort today after the game at the Uh It was important. You know, I just wanted to come out and just play within the offense and, you know, feed off my teammates, and that's what I did. So I think you only had one shot in the first 10 minutes, and then you guys stayed going, and you, were, you had, a, had a number of nice pass combinations with Mike Poole in the second. Um, well, the shot selection is just I'm taking what they give me. I'm not going to force anything. Um, probably times in the past I would do that. I wasn't capable of putting the ball on the floor. But now I'm just getting guys shots, and then when it's time for me to score, it's, that's what happened. AJ, 25 points today. How did it feel that strong game after the game? You looked frustrated Friday night. Um, I mean, I wasn't frustrated. I was, I was frustrated that we were losing and stuff like that and that we lost, you know what I mean? Some nights it's just not going, you know, it's not going to be me. But I have a great team and great players on the team. So, I mean, today I just... I tr honestly, I try to come out and try to just give the ball to the seniors, you know, and then they came to me and told me to be aggressive, so then I just try to take it from there. Yeah, how important was it to send these guys out? Very important. I, I, I grew up, I mean, it's like, first time I got on campus, first person that came to me was Sean. They took me under his wing and told me the, the ups and downs of everything. And Trey Bowman, we met him both St. Thomas more alumni at prep school, so just I uh, connected with them uh, right away and stuff like that, and I just... Uh, Deshaun Gomez and uh, even Christian, and, uh, Mike Poole, I, just watching these guys help me out a lot and stuff like that. So every time I step on the floor and everything, from beginning of the season to the end of the season, I'm just going to try to do it for these guys. Sean, as a four-year player, uh, do you feel like it really went by quickly for you? Uh, yeah, I feel like I just got here. You know, Scott took me under his wing. So, you know, he taught me a lot of stuff, and I just grew up fast. And then reverse roles quick. And uh, it was a great time here. I'm happy I chose Iona over other schools that I had, and um, just a lot of records, a lot of history, and I'm just happy I'm here. Great. Tell us about your uh, two years and uh, how it feel to be a senior uh, in your day. Uh, my two years have been a lot of fun. I learned a lot playing for Coach Clues and playing with my brothers, and to be able to get a championship my first year here and then be able to be the first-place team going into the tournament, it's just, you know, everything I thought it would be and even more. What's the mindset now? Yeah. Um, everything we did in the past doesn't matter anymore. So, you know, everybody's even, neutral playing field. Nobody's better than nobody. You got to come and bring it one day at a time. Cows, what up, baby? <laughs> one game at a time. And, um, you know, I got to tell my guys that over and over. Just got to know that one game at a time, you win three and we're the champion. Um, defense, you know, play play a full game. Don't let any lapses and um, just have fun. So I think you have 36 points today, especially in the second and you see me going inside, David was getting inside. Is that part of the, your, uh, your look going into the tournament? Um, penetrating kick. So whoever's open, it, it, let it be a three or Dave or anybody else in the post, and um, just speed off that. Open man gets the ball, and open man scores. You guys had a 20-point first half. We're going to talk about each other. It's kind of not like uh, coach to say be aggressive, you know, um, we came out a lot of energy, kind of hit a wall, probably the emotions of everything that happened. 
And um, as a group, we came together, we spoke about it, and um, we got back on the same page. With six guys in double figures, what makes this team so dangerous? And no matter who's on the bench, who's on the court, we have a lot of weapons. So if I'm in foul trouble, it doesn't matter. If AJ's in foul trouble or Dave, it doesn't matter. We have a lot of weapons. Everybody's capable of doing a lot. So pick your poison. Thanks.